Ennis Lilly, uh, standing there watching Lilly run in with all those gold chains uh, around his neck and uh, that huge, great droopy moustache, uh, and the uh, the aggressive nature that he had. I mean, he, you know, he'd finish his run up right here, right in front of you, and really look at you and try and get you to eyeball him. And he, he was he was into that sort of aspect of fast bowling. In 1975, it was measured at 148.5 kilometres an hour. The following year, in another study, he was apparently recorded at 154.8 kilometres an hour. That's in the air, he's out. Very well taken there by Yardley. Australia's Dennis Lilly was a raking tearaway bowler, hell bent on flinging every ball down at tremendous speed. Soon he learned that shrewd husbandry of his physical resources allowed him to bowl for longer and set batsmen even more problems. He became one of the greatest bowlers ever. He's caught him just before T. The fourth wicket goes down. Flip. Now for the far end. And that's it this time. No second chance of it. Oh, that's a good ball. Good York and leg stump. And he's given him caught behind. And he's bowled him. And there's a break to the distress. And Lily into the resolute. And that's a flick, and he's out, caught behind. And bowled him. And that is out. Get a hook, he's out. Yes. Oh, he's caught! Caught by Chappell! Lily. And bowled him! Bowl! Caught is he? Yes, he's out! Peel for the court behind, that's out. Yes. He's caught behind, yes. And that's out, fumbled, and caught by Ian Chappell. LBW and a big shout, jubilation there for... Not to Alan Knott. And he's got him. Oh, out, caught, a brilliant catch by Watson, throwing it. Mike's... And that's it, a wicket for Dennis Lilly. And it's a... Another catch from Marsh having a field day out there, another look. Oh, that must be out. Must be out, it was out. Oh, what a good delivery that was. He's given him out. And he's out. Well, that is bad luck for Boyd, but I'll attempt to play a shot. So, I mean, I guess I was lucky to get four. <laughs> Nothing had gone right for Australian cricket for quite some time. All of a sudden, you've played better at Old Trafford, and now you've slaughtered them at Lords. Yeah, it was a start. There's no doubt the start of a revival for Australian cricket. And, but more than anything else, it was a confidence in the team. 
that uh, I had not noticed from when I first came into the test. Uh, bear in mind, Laurie had been dumped, Ian was the new captain. Everyone was feeling their weight. Uh, cricket in Australia is at a low ebb. And all of a sudden, here's guys sort of walking around fairly confidently and chatting confidently about the game, and, and you'd start to feel a total confidence in the team. again to finish off this test match England all out for 417 another great performance there by Lily to see the end of England and Australia triumphing by a margin of 45 runs